is so dope. A man, a man with a watch, looking like he broke the bank, but he promised me he's not. He said he got started from his wife and a pop's watch face so fat the band had stretch marks. It shines so bright that you can see it from Mars. Man, he blinded me, reflecting headlights from the cars. He's got to be a rapper, baller, or a movie star, but nah, he's too humble to be all of the above. So he said, My name is Trap. Oh, cause you bees in the trap? Nah, it ain't even like that. And he tilted his bull's cap. Introduced me to his wife, and she had one too. Wrist gang so cold that she could build it glues out of nothing. They legit, they even bless their kids. Man, when they all send in the road, they look I said, yo, <laughs> and I said, yo, I'm laughing because, uh, welcome in, y'all, welcome in. I'm laughing because I was reading, I was reading one of the comments. <laughs> my brother Vic, <laughs> hey, my man Vic, like, who's live is this? <laughs> it's an inside thing, yo. <laughs> Oh man, you messed me up, bro. Like I couldn't even come in. <laughs> I couldn't even come in like I wanted to. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I ain't mess with you, man. Hey, welcome in, y'all. Welcome to the show with your boy Trap Vision 3D. Thank you guys for being here. Celebrating four years, brother man, from the fifth floor, right? Or is it the fifth floor? Yeah, you already know what it is. Welcome in, Jabroni. My man Vic. Cliff and anybody else uh, that's coming in right now. And Victor Fever Joe. I like, I mean, I dig the name. I dig it. I dig it. Um, anyway, I hope everybody's had a great day. Um, and if you guys have not seen the movie Wakanda Forever, it is a great movie. Go check it out, man. Uh, I watched it. It is two hours and 41 minutes. Uh, I think. And I'm not giving anything away, but there I will give this away. Uh, you know how you wait at the end of this scene, whatever. There's one surprise at the end. It's not like a bunch of surprises. So if you're waiting, as soon as you see that last cut and then it goes to the credits, it's over. All right? Tonight, y'all, tonight, tonight I'm going to be unboxing or unbagging a package. And I'm going to introduce this in a second, man. But uh, And I'll tell you, you know what? This video is being sponsored by, I, I wish I had that siren that old boy got on uh, what, just one more watch there. I like that. But anyway, uh, more, my daddy, my daddy. That's what we're here for. But before we go, or oh, get into that, and Victor 202, if you guys go down into the description part, I have three links that you can go to. My daddy is one. Be the Difference Clothing is another one. And it's not her... Uh, her uh, YouTube page is actually to the website because before we even go into getting that done, I have a package from Be the Difference Clothing. And let's see what's in here. Hold up, y'all trying to see my address. I seen I seen y'all peeking. And I'm not gonna go on a knife with this or get my knife for this because uh something soft in here. Feel me? What's up, Dale? What's good? Godfather here? What's going on, man? Salute. Even though yesterday was uh, Veterans Day, it's still, I mean, it's Veterans Year. Because you're a veteran 365, right? For those that's veterans. All right. So I'm unpackaging, unbagging my lovely item from Be The Difference Clothing. And may I remind you that there is a such thing as Myers, uh, Van Mar, your local mall, Walmart, all these places you can go buy from. But Be The Difference Clothing, Joy is her name. Um, she adds a, a personalized touch. She has her own business, man. And she is, she's awesome. So I have my official, oh, and a thank you card. Be the different socks, yo. Check that out, yo. Ooh. Oh. Don't watch your future away. Joy, this is dope. I got the dopest pair of socks. You know what I mean? I like that. I knew it. I knew it. She never disappoints. 
So if you uh pro socks, okay, and it's extra large. It says pro socks in there. Extra large. And if you did get one of your socks, uh oh. What's up, Jerry? Be the difference. That's what makes us so different, man. So you can go out and literally go and buy uh, socks from anywhere. But I'm going to challenge you guys. Go to that her website. And you can become an affiliate on her page, too. So this is for all you social media people. If, you, uh, are, if you're on there and you advertise it, and, dude, just go over there and check her out. So, uh, only go time. Joy, you, man, she my girl, man. She is so dope, man. Joy is so dope. I got, look at this, man. She got audio books and everything, man. Tell me she ain't on her grind, yo. Y'all go over there and spend some money with my sis, man. Go over there and spend some money with her. Yeah, so let me see who. Oh, who who talking about hamburgers? Somebody said a burger. Come on in here. What's up, cool gamer? Look, I want to make sure I got everybody. Watchman fifty four as usual. Her usual. How's your family doing, sir? Hope you and wife are doing good. What's up, Chris? Warm it up, Chris. All right, I think that's what we got, everybody. Okay, thank you guys for being here. And now for the featured item of this evening. I don't want to keep you guys. It's Saturday night, and I know you guys got somewhere to be. We've been here for seven minutes, and uh, I'll get to this here in a second, man. But let's get into the meat and potatoes. So... How I come, how I came across what's in this package was actually a few weeks ago. I was watching Not a Watch Knob, and you guys have seen him on uh, DK's channel, all right. And you guys have seen he's actually been on uh, John Gang Gang Gang's channel before, and I mean he got his own thing. You know what, Vic? Can you do me a favor, bro? Oh, wait a minute. Are you probably out? Uh, I'll leave. I'll I'll actually put it in there later. Uh, I'm going to send a link to uh, not not a watch now his channel. I literally was watching it and he was uh, he had this this skit. And if you've been to his channel, he does skits when he does his watch reviews. Amazing, amazing content creator. And um, what literally happened was he talked about a watch on there and I was looking at the watch and I said, wait a minute. I see what type of watch that is, but you have to literally look and see what's on the actual dial. It is. It's a slap in the face to people that like them, those high-end watches, high-end horology, right? It, it's a modified watch. I think it's dope. So I looked deeper into it, and I reached out to my daddy, and I ended up placing an order with him. Yes, sir. I went over on Facebook. I looked at his work. I talked to him, and let me tell you, phenomenal guy, phenomenal guy. He's, he's, he's really dope. Let's see you. Everyone is doing good. Trap House BC and you're going fam. Everybody doing, we doing our thing, man. You know, everybody's doing their thing. Man, Vic, you, man, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Okay. Now, without further ado, let's unpack it. Now, he hits me up and was like, yo, Trap, did you open it up yet? And I was like, nope. I want I saw it on his, uh, if you get here's a cheat code. If you were tuning in uh, 30 minutes ago on my Facebook page, you would have saw my daddy's uh page because I posted one of the watches, but I didn't post the watch that he made for me because I know what it looked like. I saw the pictures. I just haven't put it in hand yet. All right, so that's that. He put he he double packed it. He made sure this thing wasn't gonna get messed up. All right. If I miss you when you came in, the songs, what's going on? Double D's in the building. 
package in a package in a package. Head off to the side. All right. And I think he may he may even be watching. My daddy may be watching. Don't do don't do snitch book. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Well, he got this thing in here. Pretty good. Okay, without further ado, family, I got it in hand. I got it in hand. I got I, I got my hand on it right now. I'm touching it. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and for those of you that like the finer things in life, let me introduce you to my very first Seiko Nought. Seiko Nautilus, baby, you already know what it is. This thing is powered by NH35A, and you see, ooh, hold on, let, let's, let's, let's get me out the picture as y'all take a look at this bad boy right here. Mm, mm, mm. Exhibition case back. Dude, and then, come on, man. Look at the class on this thing, boy. Ooh, woo. Look at that. You got brushed in, high polished, man. I, I saw I saw the pictures, man. Oh. Hold on, man. Oh, I didn't even do my watch of the day, which my diver. So let me let me go ahead and take this OG off. Been thinking about building a Casio for fun. All right. Oh man, that's that's different. Let me see. Okay. It's gonna be some easy adjustments. Man, but that's what it looked like on the wrist. Now, let me tell you something about my daddy and the fact that I, I did some research, y'all. And I went on people's pages, some of those uh, big-time YouTubers. I looked at people that did the Seiko Knot. There are actually a few channels that talk about the Seiko Knot. And I went to look at the comments. And some people do not like the fact that, hey, man, you can't get a Nautilus and then put a Seiko. And this is a true Seiko movement. He used the actual Seiko dial and the uh Seiko movement and i think he got it he said it was, it's within three seconds plus or minus per day so it runs pretty good and hold on let's see Let me screw down crown so y'all like i'm experiencing this everything about this watch with y'all so i didn't look at it i didn't look at the details i didn't want to i didn't i just looked at the picture when he posted it on facebook i was like if he put what it does, I'm not even looking. Mm. It's out to the last position, ready to have that. You got the date window. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Date. Just, hey, look, I'm, I'm testing it out. I'm testing it out, right? You know what I'm saying? So looks like a protect. Well, let me get you guys to get a good look at it. So I've owned a Seiko before. I have. I bought a Seiko years ago, a long, long, long time ago. But since I have been on YouTube, I have not featured a Seiko on the channel. So this is technically the first Seiko. And I told y'all a couple months ago, I was like, hey, Seiko is going to grace the channel at some point. So Seiko fanboys, I got a Seiko, but not like how you guys want me to get a Seiko because I don't care what you want me to do. I got it the way I wanted it. I got that Nautilus case, which, man, dude, look at, come on, man. And this is going in my 18th slot. This is this is going to 18th slot. Now, the bracelet is, is man, this thing is, is solid. It's like a snake. Come on, man, just getting a. Like that, man. 
Now, I talked to uh, my daddy today on the phone, a uh, real cool dude, man. And uh, I left that link down in the description, man. So here's the deal. I know you guys are, are putting different watches in your collection. I will highly recommend getting something like custom made. Because, I mean, you have to, once you go to check, click, click on this link, go over on Facebook and see what he do. I've already talked to him about some stuff, man. I'm not even going to tell you because I don't want y'all to take my ideas and come out with it first. Nope. Nope. I ain't saying, I ain't going to. And my daddy don't, if somebody asks you, like, nope, it's top secret. <laughs> you got to have special clearance to get the idea. We already talked to it. Yeah, man. So, yeah, just check it out, man. Let's take this thing for a test drive. Y'all already know I'm sizing this thing tonight and wearing it to church tomorrow. It's going to be my watch of the day. Man, that thing is beautiful. Man. So let me tell you how his customer service works. And I'm, t I'm telling you, he has, man, great dude. We talk, you make the, uh, the bill, you tell him what you want. I allowed him to, I said, hey, man, surprise me. So he wanted to go with an actual Seiko dial with the movement. And he said, okay, I'm going to just put it. I gave him freedom to do whatever he wanted to do. Nice and slim. Yeah, man, I, I like it. I dig it, bro. I really dig it. Uh, he showed me the loom on it, too. Loom is, is you already know what it is, a Seiko loom. Um, I, I really like this, man. And I love this, this case, this, man. And you know what's crazy is I'm looking at the crystal. It's just half a millimeter just up off. It's like a little lip on there. That is beautiful. This is a beautiful watch, man. Grail level. This is my grail because Gerald Jensen made this design in no time flat back in, uh, what was it? Was it 72? I think it was 1972. And there's been so many people that have, you know, mimicked this, this design. Uh, Pagani, and it was a whole bunch of people. Like, I think that's like one of the most popular designs. This design right here, I don't even, I did have it out here. Hold on, let me see if I got it out here. Still. Yep, I got it. So, Invicta has theirs, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you see that over there. You can't tell me that's like Gerald Jensen is all over the place. But this one, this is a, a fresh watch, yo. This is fresh. I like it. Dig it, man. My daddy, thank you so much for uh, being so skillful. Now, he can do modifications. He started out, he told me he started out modifying uh, Invicta timepieces. And that's all I'm going to share right there with that. So, yo, if you want to get it modified, go ahead. And, uh, hey, thanks for dropping that. Thanks for dropping that, man. Love the way. Yeah, man. Dude. You, see, you notice how folks hate that movement in a certain watch, but love it. In other Vic, I'm glad I saw that. Thank you for dropping that comment. Here's the deal. Let me say this. Let me say this. And maybe this is a question. I'm going to post this or something to invoke a thought. How is it that some companies, some watch companies can use an NH35 and they can charge you a premium of anywhere from $699 to some companies are charging almost $1,000 and it has an NH35 in it. I think I said this last night, if I'm not mistaken, NH35 or NH36 uh, and just because it's company's heritage, right, they say that, okay, the heritage is worth the $600 or the 800, whatever you're going to pay. But I just don't understand it. What makes that watch so much more special? If this one has NH35A in it, that watch has NH35 in it. I mean, Wing, Wing, he puts NH35 in it and he, had, he sell his watches as low as what? A hundred bucks. How is it? Some companies are charging so much. I don't get it, man. And yeah, Vic, I do. I agree with that question, man. It's like when we talking to Victor, let's keep it a hundred. Let's. I'm gonna just say it, bro. When we talking to Victor, if they got an NH35 in it, and it's an Victor, oh, it's trash. But this other company got an NH35, and 
is it has a heritage. And it's not even some of these companies not even old as Invicta, and they get high praise. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's beyond me. Easy looking down. Yeah, man. Uh, but outside of that, I think this is a phenomenal watch, man. My dad, you did your thing. Uh, be sure to go check him out. Go over to Facebook and go. And, and before you even reach out to him, before you inbox him, just look through his stuff, man. Very interesting. It's very uh, it's funny. It's funny because he's taking a stab at other companies. It's like he's taking watch, you know, collecting series, but not taking it serious. You know, and I'm not even gonna say he's taking a stab at it. He's just like, look, quit being so snobby about watch collecting. Watch collecting is a personal journey. It's everybody's personal journey. And even if you are that type that say, I want people to know that I make a decent amount of money. I want people to know that I drive a, a nice car or I'm well to do. I've made it. Uh, me and Dave D talked about this yesterday for some people that have Rolex. And nobody, I'm going to tell you this, I have a few buddies that own Rolexes. And they, they both said this. They said, man, I got my Rolex, man, just to show people, hey, look, I, I, I made it. I got to a point where I can afford this high end item. And that's and that's the truth. Hey, and I'm not knocking for it. There's a certain elegance in wearing a wristwatch with a low profile. Oh yeah, man. Yo, so man, just check that out. I agree with you. Come on. I agree with you. This thing is is sweet, man. It's in in hand, man. I just love the way. This bracelet feels. I love it, man. This this is awesome. This is a night, man. He did a great job, man. He did a great job. That brushing on it, man, is gosh. Yeah, this is definitely going to my 18 slot. Um, and I'm gonna actually add uh we talk, me and my daddy talk, and we're um I told him there's another build that I have for him uh, that I want him to do um, in the future for me. It's actually two more. Uh, I'm going to actually add another diver uh, to the collection and then a, uh, well, I can't tell you the other one. I'm not going to tell you the other one. You just have to be, have to stay tuned. But 2023, um, I do want to add a few unique pieces and that's how I'm going to do it is through my daddy. It's like Bowles and Richard Mill advertising and marketing. Uh, you know what? Um, Chris, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something about Bowles. And we're talking about I, – I did – I went to uh, a Bowles store, and they gave uh, they gave me and my wife the uh, – like Bose treatment or whatever you call it, where they, they display, they show the TV and it didn't matter where you stood in the store. You can hear the TV. It was like some dynamic sound that they have. Bose got some crazy stuff, man. This it's, it's different, you know, and they, they're like, you don't need a sound bar. You shouldn't have to have a sound bar on your, uh, your TV unless you want to have like a theater sound, but Bose TV, which was very expensive, but I think it didn't matter. It just had this smart sound or whatever, man. I'm like, I stood over here to the left and I could hear it clear as if it was directed right at me. And I stood over here to the right, same deal. Uh, is it expensive? And then the Richard Mill watch. I mean, the only people I've seen where Richard Mill, like, honestly, are, are millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Um, I saw a guy down in Georgia. He was a producer. He was driving a... Um, G Wagon had a real nice Richard Mill on, man. But he was in Walmart. I mean, I guess you can, anybody can shop Walmart, but sometimes it just seems like, man, dude, you'll be shopping somewhere high end. Michael Brands is versus Michael Brands versus like you say heritage and market. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, Luciano? The problem with some people is that. They lump everyone and Victor together as one. True, true. Um, it is. You know, it wasn't until I think. Come on, 
look, and I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to call nobody out on YouTube. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not even using names or what channel I heard this from. But at one point, I heard the dogging out Invicta collectors saying they're not smart enough. They can't read. They can't write. They can't do anything. Right. <laughs> right. And then this year, it's been like a little different, you know, from some of these same entities I've watched from. And it's like, it's like, go and collect what you like because it's a personal journey and do this. And I was like, yeah, until you say Invicta. And you, you see him kind of cringe, like, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, that is so crazy, man. That <laughs> people feel that way. And then you, you know, you'll treat somebody bad, you know, and, Every Invicta collector, you got some sedity, snobby uh, Invicta collectors. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, I want to just bring this out so you guys can see. And hopefully, um, we can actually have some people go over there and get something new to their collection. Their collection. Add something. Is Dave in here? Dave D in here? Yep, Dave D is in here. I, I saw the one, my bad. I didn't even look at your name. I just saw the uh, One Love fam. I was like, Dave D got to be in here. Yeah, man. That's, hey, that's the man. World renowned Dave D is in the building, y'all. So, Dave, this is it. This is what the fuss has been about. Um, My daddy hit me up. He said, yo, Trap, you get it? You, you look at it, what you think? I said, I'm not opening it until... I want to see it at the same time as everybody else. And um, I'm not I'm not disappointed at all. Not at all. I mean, Solid Links, this bracelet is awesome. I, think this, I just think this is a nice touch. It's a nice touch. So that's what it looks like on the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Nice brushing on it. Yep. So I got my first Seiko knot. Yeah, I, I dig that. Let me see. Victor opens the gateway. Drug to the uh, grand scheme of horology. They open you up to, uh, to other stuff down the road, like Tommy as well and myself. Yeah. Very... Nice look at time piece. Thanks, bro. Um, a 40, I, you know what? I have to measure it, but I think it's like a 41, 42 millimeter. I think it's about 41. I'm actually gauging it up against my 40 millimeter. So maybe like 41 and a half. I, I'm pretty sure I'm a, I don't have my uh, measurement tool out here with me. Uh, and I'll get the actual schematics on it later. I'll post that uh, once I measure it because it's actually in the back room. Now, Chris, I want to go back to your comment. You guys remember when, um, I don't know what time you guys started watching Tommy Big Time's channel, but... He swore by Invicta. He swore by the Grand Octane. Y'all know he wanted to get 63 Grand Octanes, and he, he accomplished that. He got that. And at one point, uh, me and him had a conversation. He said, you know what? Uh, I can't remember. If somebody told him, like, your your uh, style is going to change. Tommy was like, no, it's not. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And he hit a brick wall. Boom. He said, wait a minute. There's a whole new world out there. There's a whole bunch of other pieces. And a man that said he would never, like, he talked about, like, the smaller watches, right? He's wearing them. He got, I think he got, I don't know if he got any 36 millimeters. I don't know if he went that that small. But I know he's rocking them 40s. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Christopher Ward. And, I mean, he has a whole bunch of watches, man. Just open the door up to a lot of stuff. And of course, uh, DK from Semicon Reviews, he's been doing this for a long, I don't know how long DK's been doing it, but he got uh, some different watches on there. And um, majority of my collection is in Victor, and I got a, a decent amount of Aragon, the Android, and a bunch of other 
little Casios and stuff like that, miscellaneous watches around. But and then my Coca Cola, Timex. Man, this is uh, I got. I'm gonna you do story time with this one because this, I was listening to it, just gave me a whole vibe, man. Just crazy. Finally home. You gotta make. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you misspelled something, bro. I, was like, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, y'all talking about sports. So you're switching too. Hey, look. Let me tell you something. When uh, second hour watches gave me the opportunity to review that watch and i looked at that watch in its entirety man that watch is awesome i still got it back there and, and, and here's the deal if they you ever want it back i'm gonna send it or send it to the next uh reviewer but in the meantime i've been wearing that thing that pff, look i like that watch the loom on it is dope it got loom on both crowns i love that uh the way the crown moves on it uh, what they call that i forgot what they call it but yeah i dig that watch and I like the green. I think it's, it's a dope watch, man. Uh, there are a lot of watches out here, man, that, you know, and I, I do believe that Invicta is a gateway gateway drug to other watches. Uh, but it do it kind of puts you in a perspective. Uh, I don't know if you guys are like, if you go to chain stores and you look at watches in the cases that light, the way that light hits the watch, man, I'm telling you, most customers, and I, I did it, I sold them before. Most customers are so caught up on the aesthetics of the watch. They don't care what it's powered by. They don't know anything about that. They'll ask, how much is it? You know what I'm saying? And they just basically, you put you put it in their hand or put it on their wrist, let them feel it. They're like, oh, that's a pretty heavy watch. I've heard that before. It's a pretty heavy watch. Yeah, okay, you asking 600 for it. Is there any sales? You got any coupons? I'm like, hey, I got 15% off. Like, oh, okay, let me get that. Boom, wrap it up, size it, wrap it up, and then they go about their business. They don't know what they have. They don't know the heritage. They don't ask the heritage. If it's Citizen, people buy Citizen because they're familiar with the name. Seiko, the same thing. When we had Tissot, when Tissot came in, uh, when I was working at K Jewelers, we only had a few Tissots, right? And we had this real small one. It was like a, uh, it was a 36 millimeter Tissot little dress watch. They didn't even know what it was, man. They was like, Oh, y'all got it to sold. Let me get that. It was like 200 bucks. Because, you know what I'm saying? They like, yo, I, I want that shit to sold for 200 Small little course watch, man. It was, yo, DK. So, for those that just got here, this is what I just unboxed. And if you go down in my description, go to my daddy. You'll see it. My daddy's channel. He's on Facebook. Go over to his, his channel. And look at all that. He don't have a, a, a YouTube channel just yet. Me and him talk. And I said, I think it's, it's time, brother. And I just met him, though. I just met him. I just met this cat like, a few weeks ago. And uh, or last month. And we've been talking. His And his custom service is on point, man. He texted me. He let me know what was going on. He let me know when the parts were in. And it, like, if you deal with him, he hits you up on a regular basis, man. And I, I just li I like the way he handles business. Just do, you know. He lets you know every single step, flat out, so you're not worrying. Like, uh, what's going on? You know, yeah, it was, He's pretty dope. Everyone's got to check out, you know, my sister up to so. Uh, actually, ha! Huh, I'm ahead of you. I I check. I did. I've been looking at that. I was looking at that all last week. Uh, and you, you guys, I want you guys to go check out uh, Timmy Khan's latest video. I just seen it earlier. Uh, I was in the middle of doing some other stuff, man. So I had to let it play out because there was some other things I wanted to say on there, DK. But I was, I was moving and grooving, man. But yeah, I actually like that watch, bro. That watch is dope, man. Um, now you, you did mention that watch was. A homage to something. Did you say Air King or something else? I think I'll just like it is an easy read. And I know you why you picked it out because it's just all the stainless steel on it, man. It's just it's a beautiful timepiece. I like it. 
I like it. So, yeah. So we covered everything that we needed to. Uh, if you guys have been looking, I am a hat collector. I love these things, man, right? So you guys don't know that. Or maybe you do. But I want to show this piece right here. Or this, this brim right here. Just cop that. This thing, man. I know it's cold. I woke up to snow today. And I know some of you guys in the south, man, you ain't got to worry about it. I woke up to snow. I mean, like a couple layers of snow. It's crazy. And of course, I know jabronis know about this right here. But lids, man, I don't, I don't know. This make a perfect gift for people that I know some of you guys don't like hats. But I do, and I know other people do. Uh, they, I don't have it in here, man. I, I got the, um, dang, it's not in here. I got the Wakanda hat, man. Oh, and again, if you haven't seen the movie, go well, check it out. It's pretty nice. It's a homage to an older Rolex Explorer and uh, Tudor Ranger. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's a, that's a dope watch, man. That is a dope watch. I really, really like that watch, man. But yeah, that, you know, going back, Chris, to what you were saying, it do it, it opens up, the doors are open up like why to other watches, man. And uh I know my man Tommy did. He he's on that, he's on that 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 train right now. So I don't know how many other people are collecting. I know some people say, hey, I'm either collecting or there's a few of you guys are just collecting and Victor and um man, Aragon. I couldn't think of it. And of course, I got all that. Which again, I think Aragon is a is a phenomenal watch brand, man. And uh, I'm still in the honeymoon phase of this piece right here. That's that Evo, that Millipede Evo. This watch, man, I dig it. I really, I really dig this watch. This is like right now is my favorite Aragon. Period. I'm and I, I'm putting that on record. I don't care. I, I know, like, come on, got some nice Androids and Aragons, and that's your collection. But as far as I'm concerned, everything that we ain't got in this collection right now, right now, that's my favorite one that I have, that I want. Now, I may get that, uh, eventually, I may get that, if it's available next year, I may get the, the uh, Turbion version, uh, Millipede. I may get that one. I think that's, that'll be, that'll be nice to add to collection, but that oh in uh tritium tubes. That's that's the only other thing I'm gonna get from Aragon right now is the tritium tubes that that Turbion. And then I have to go and I gotta get my other other piece. Y'all know what I like. What he's trying to say is your Aragon collection is whack. <laughs> oh, I ain't say that about commons. Don't you don't you sit here and lie. No, sir. <laughs> hey, come on, collection. No, sir. Mm -mm. I'm telling you right now, I feel like if come on was the battle wing and uh, uh, A.L. Lalo, I believe he'll walk away with, with a victory, bro. I'm telling you. And they, they, and they got mad watches, but like the way come on's collection set up, I believe he'll slap both of them, man. If we put them in a the handicap, man, because I'm that's just my word. So no, DK, I didn't say his, his collection is whack. I'm just saying I like that. I like this piece over any other piece he got right now. Period. Period. I stand on that. I stand by that. All right, let me see. Come on. What are you trying to Oh, I read that already. David D. Yo, that bracelet is clean. Got a go trap. No problem. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and that's how you leave with chat. I love that. <laughs> Chris Gazer out. Man, I could take come on Seiko's fanboy collection blindfolded. Ooh, is that a challenge? Well, you know we're doing end of the year battles now. Is that a challenge, man? Hey, make it official. Put that on paper. Put it on paper. Look, put it on paper. Well, come on there. Come on, you just got challenged, bro. He coming for the, the title. 
the Renato piece is available. Then where? Yeah, the Renato's ain't no joke, Brad. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, it's some shade being tossed around in this piece, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Yo. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end on this note right here. DK just called out come on in the battle. Mr. Optimus Prime, Mr. Autobot. Come on, this this come on, this represents you. He just called you out. <laughs> he just called you out, bro. I don't know what you want to do, but you know what I mean? You let me know. All you got to do, I'm just inbox away. Text me, whatever the case is, man. Let me know. I can set it up. We can do it end of the year, you know what I'm saying, right after Christmas or before Christmas, whatever y'all want to do. Just let me know. So uh, other than that, family, man, I don't have anything else for this evening, man. I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'm going to give y'all evening back. Uh, and I know there's some other people going live. I just want to present to you guys the newest addition to my collection, which is that Seiko Knot. What's the? Let me see. I can make my own reference number up for this. You know what I'm saying? TV3D-0001 is the model number for this piece right here. Yeah, because it's mine. It's one of a kind. It's the only one, one of one. You don't have it. You can't get it. Even if you have my daddy make it, you'll never get this one. You can't come close to it. It's mine. I'm the only one in the world that has this Seiko knot. All right? <laughs> all right. So, family, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm saying it's Trap. Come on. Versus DK. What? I'm not, in, I'm not getting in that. Don't, no, sir. I'm not. Look, I have to host it. So it's DK versus Kimon if Kimon accepts. My mind comes from the street. Ooh. Come on. He said you got a pretty collection, but he has come from the street, man. He's ready to take you down. Oh, and before we leave. If you were so lucky to go to see Wakanda Forever, you, they do have collector's tins there for your popcorn. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it even glows. Here's that. Black hand. Black hand. And your collectibles. Go over to, where does this come from, sir? Box lunch. Box lunch. Go to Box Lunch to go get your collectibles. Go get your Black Panther today. All right? And again, this episode has been sponsored by My Daddies. All right? You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for fixing your boy up with this, man. Hopefully, you guys like the watch. You love the watch. You got to get it in hand to really appreciate it. But the pictures, man, I'm telling you, pictures never do a watch justice. I don't care what it is. I don't care where you take it at. Until you get that lovely piece in your hand, you, will, you can never really appreciate it. So, family, again, veterans, salute to all my veterans. I hope you guys had a great day yesterday, man. Uh, thank you for serving this country. Everybody else that is watching this video, take care of yourself, man, please. If you haven't had the chance to go to the doctor, get a checkup, or even your dental work, your vision and stuff like that, go out there and go get yourself checked. Schedule an appointment with your doctor, man. Do not be scared. Don't be ashamed. Don't do none of that. Just go. Just it's better for you to go and make sure that everything's good. So if you catch something now, you'll be good to go. You feel what I'm saying? So uh got one more comment. Uh let me see. Hop on over to Billy's channel. If you ain't got nothing better to do, he's going. Is he going live right now? Hey, y'all go over there, man. Be like, yo, because that's where I actually found my daddy. It's from Billy's channel. Not a watch now. So go okay, go check it out. Go on over there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to go over there and check it out myself. You know what I'm saying? So, family, until the next lightning strike, man, y'all be blessed.